Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're speaking with ABI research industry analyst, Faye Liu. Faye will answer key questions about her latest report on 5G energy consumption and operator sustainability initiatives. Welcome, Faye. Hello, and thanks for having me. Pleasure. So your report is about 5G energy consumption. Isn't 5G much more energy efficient than 4G? We have proven to be 90% more energy efficient than 4G in terms of energy consumption per unit of traffic. But it is still expected to cause a dramatic increase in energy consumption due to the implementation of massive memo and the level of network densification. A 5G big station requires three times more energy to provide the same coverage as a 4G network, burdening network operators with high energy costs and a cap capital expense. What is the biggest drain on 5G energy consumption? 5G energy consumption depends on radio configuration, hardware, and the traffic load. Over 70% of the consumed energy in the, is in the run. Table one displays the contributors' massive memo to power consumption and the different traffic capacity. A 5G run consumes up to 2.7 kilowatts of power with the 6040-64R massive memo configurations in a typical condition, whereas a long-term evolution radio consumes about 0.8 kilowatt power. So within the massive memo systems, power amplifiers, baseband process modules, digital intermediate frequency, and the transceivers are the main contributors to power consumption. What's the solution to improve power consumption? Hardware optimization. With the growing pressure to fight climate change and the regulations to reduce carbon footprints, network operators are demanding more energy efficient equipment. This forces equipment vendors to invest in hardware technologies to improve energy efficiency. What kind of hardware technologies? There are several technologies that vendors can invest in to improve energy efficiency. Gallium nitride power amplifiers, better chipsets, liquid cooling, and new materials and designs are all highly effective in reducing energy consumption at the equipment level. How do these technologies work to reduce energy consumption at the equipment level? Gallium nitride is ideal for massive memo because it can increase in power efficiency by over 50%, significantly reducing the power consumption of the power hungry massive memo systems and the lowering operation costs for network operators. Liquid cooled sites are 50% smaller and 30% lighter than standard active air conditioning units and they require no maintenance, enabling significant savings Nokia's liquid cooling has proven to reduce power by 70% and operating expense by 30%. The new generation of chipsets are able to reduce energy by 30% to 70% and improve performance of massive memo at the same time. New architecture can also reduce energy consumption, improve coverage, and enhance performance. For example, Huawei's Meta AAU allows base stations to achieve the same range with less transmit power and reduce energy consumption by 30%. So overall, hardware optimization promises up to 70% improvement in 5G power consumption. That's an impressive improvement. Any recommendations for network operators? Yes, operators should deploy the new generation of equipment and adopt efficient cooling technology to reduce power at the equipment level. Good stuff. Thanks so much, Faye. For a deeper dive into our AN5500 application analysis report, 5G energy consumption and operator sustainability initiatives, visit abiresearch.com.